This doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's a maybe there's a number I can call. Wait. Right there. Pearly Gates Estates, where the praise never stops and the bubble never pops. Can I help you? Um, yeah. Can I speak to God, please? Oh, he's very busy right now. Well, this is kind of important. I'm trying to understand something in his book. Oh, uh, can I put you on hold for a sec? Hello? Um, yeah, is this God? Who are you to question, almighty God? Well, I, I just called the customer service number I saw in the back of your book. Oh, right. Yes, God. Uh, that's us. Uh, I mean me. Who is this? What? You mean you're not all-knowing? We are. I, I mean I am. I, I was just testing you. Sounds like that Trinity Doctrine has given you an identity crisis. You're telling us. Look, God, I'm really confused. Makes sense. You're an atheist. That's not it. Here's my problem. In your all-important message to us humans, you wrote that death comes to everyone. I did? You don't remember? No, I, I remember. It's, it's just been a long time since I wrote that. Okay, look, I'll refresh your memory. Here's what you wrote. In Romans chapter 5, verse 12, you wrote that death spread to all men. Yeah, so? And in Hebrews... Chapter 9, verse 27, you wrote that it was appointed unto man once to die, and then the judgment. Okay, it's coming back to me now. Uh, I, I did say that. Um, everyone dies. Well, what's so confusing about that? No, those verses aren't what's confusing. There's some other verses that are giving me a little bit of trouble. Look, can you make this quick? I got a few million lines lit up at the moment, and I got to get to them. Okay. In 2 Kings 2.11... You wrote that Elijah was taken directly up into heaven in a chariot of fire. Yeah, so? So, according to you, Elijah didn't die. Well, now, I wouldn't exactly say that. I didn't say Elijah didn't die, did I? Okay, well, what about this verse? Genesis 5, 24. And Enoch walked with God, that's you, and he was not, for God took him. Yeah, so? So Enoch didn't die either. Is that the King James Version? What difference does that make? Did Enoch die or not? Well, uh, that really depends on what I meant by he was not. Okay, what about this verse? Hebrews 11.5 So by faith Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death. All right, all right. Uh, okay, yes, I, I did take Elijah and Enoch straight up into heaven, okay? So they didn't die. Are you happy now? And what about Lazarus? Which one? The one Jesus raised from the dead. How's he a problem? He died, didn't he? Yeah, twice. And you said it was appointed unto man once to die. I did say that, didn't I? <laughs> well, when I said once, what I really meant was... And he's not the only one that came back from the dead. According to you, lots of people were raised from the dead. What a horrible thing to do to people. Horrible? Giving them their life back is horrible? Yeah. Think about it, God. I mean, there they are, in heaven, eternal paradise, bliss, unimaginable greatness. And then all of a sudden, without warning, they get yanked back into a veil of tears, a dust bowl of suffering with disease and starvation and and terrible things that you can't even imagine. Lice, crabs, STDs, Lady Gaga. Okay, okay, I get your point. So you admit you were wrong when you wrote that it is appointed unto man once to die. Well, uh, I kind of blame Jesus for that one. He was distracting me with all that silly praying he was doing the night before I killed him. Prayer doesn't work, does it? Uh, nope. I didn't think so. Look, God, you've cleared up this death thing for me anyway. Man, I really appreciate that. Yeah, well, thanks for calling, but we got a lot of prayers we need to ignore, so take care and uh, call back if you have any other problems with my book, okay?
Thanks again. It was just awesome for you to, to, to clear that up for me. Oh, I've, I've got another question. Damn it. He hung up on me. Oh, well. Maybe I'll call him back sometime.